Our Father, we assemble today thinking about our Madagascar project. You have led us here. You have held our hand. We're thankful, Father, for those that have stood by us and sacrificed to make it happen. You have been faithful to us, faithful to this task, faithful to supply all of our needs. You have given us courage to tell of your story again, to wait upon the Lord, to remember that you have always delivered. May your name be great in places that have never heard the sweet name of Jesus. There have been times when we wondered why we were still doing this. You know, why, you know, is this really God's will or is, is he telling us it's time to quit? Some said to give it up for dead, cut your losses and get out of Madagascar. After seven years of government revolution, open hostility and tribulation of near biblical proportions, they were proven wrong. From the beautiful island of the Indian Ocean, Madagascar World Voice is alive and well and on the air. It's running full power. It's good. This is your new life station. Thanks for making us a part of your day. Broadcasting over the air on KNLS, Anchor Point, Alaska, USA, and now via our transmitter in the beautiful Indian Ocean region. For that first broadcast on Easter Sunday, 2016, there were celebrations at World Christian Headquarters in Franklin, Tennessee, Alaska, and the transmitter site of the news station in Madagascar. We are broadcasting now. <laughs> All three locations were connected via Skype video. On this Easter Sunday, we shout out a special welcome to our listeners from the Indian Ocean region who are hearing us on 9665 kilohertz. Your new life station now broadcasts from both Alaska and the Indian Ocean region. So when you go to bed, you smile because there's somebody being introduced to Jesus Christ. I'm Rob Scobie, senior producer for our International English Service. To our listeners, our English language broadcast is known as Your New Life Station. Our announcers speak with American and Australian accents. For the past 30 plus years, station KNLS in Alaska has beamed a strong signal containing the English broadcast to the Pacific Rim. Countries like Japan, Malaysia, and the Philippines. Madagascar World Voice sends our English broadcast to Southwest Asia. This region includes the heavily populated English prevalent countries of India and Pakistan. I'm Tony Tadros, the senior producer for the Arabic language service Radio Fida, which in Arabic means redemption. Madagascar World Voice covers the entire region of the Middle East and North Africa. Some of these countries include Morocco, Libya, Egypt, uh, the Sudan, Iraq, uh, Syria, and many others. I'm Henry Hufford, senior producer for the Africa Service. African Pathways Radio. That's what we're calling our programming into Africa. We talk about paths to good health, paths to a happy home, paths to good music, and paths to life according to God's will. We broadcast in English to Sub-Saharan Africa, to nations such as Ghana, Kenya, Tanzania, and Nigeria. Nigeria has 79 million English speakers, which is actually more English speakers than are in the United Kingdom. Many nations of Africa have been found to be very receptive to the Gospel of Christ. Here, African Pathways co-host, Edit Udofia, delivers a program we call African Heroes of Faith. Today's hero of faith is a preacher who lives in West Africa. He and his wife once had a difficult time having children. This was very discouraging to the preacher because in his area, preachers are not taken seriously until they have a family. I'm Konstantin Cherushenko, a senior producer for Russian language service. Our new broadcasting from Madagascar, we call it 
радиостанция «Новая жизнь» из Индийского океана. New Life Station from Indian Ocean. With both signals from KNLS Anchor Point Alaska and Madagascar World Voice from Madagascar, we'll put very strong signals to the whole land mass of Russia and former Soviet Union republics, and especially in such cities as Moscow and St. Petersburg. I'm Edward Short, senior producer for Chinese language services at World Christian Broadcasting. KNLS in Chinese becomes and it means Light of Life radio station. With both KNLS and Madagascar World Voice on the air, the Light of Life can more easily cover Western China, the part of China that has a significant Muslim population, as well as Southeast Asia, where millions of Chinese live. In fact, the four countries outside of China, where the largest number of Chinese live, are Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, and Vietnam, all of which are within range of MWV. Additionally, from Madagascar, we're sending the gospel message to parts of Africa and northward into Europe on MWV. This is an exciting development and we believe that the upwards of two million Chinese in Africa and the well over two million Chinese in Europe will be happy to find our station. Our redesigned Chinese website is accessible around the world. In January and February of this year, over a thousand pages of material were accessed each day on our Chinese website. I'm Rex Morgan, senior producer for the Spanish language service. We call it La Voz Alegre, the happy voice. While we waited for Madagascar World Voice to go on the air, we were able to buy time on other radio stations to broadcast to Cuba, the Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. Madagascar World Voice sends a signal all over South America, including Argentina, all the way up to Venezuela. Once the political obstacles were overcome, there remain some daunting technical challenges. The transmitter is quite large. It comes to us in, in five different sections. Each section has to have uh, elements uh, installed in the building that are ready for that, uh, electrical, plumbing, and so on and so forth. And then each section is connected, interconnected once it's set physically in place. There's only one connection actually to the tower, the RF, RF uh, transmission line, but it does need to be right because it's carrying a lot of energy and if there's a small loose connection then we, uh, nothing works. We make, we make smoke. Thanks to the sign-on of Madagascar World Voice, World Christian Broadcasting now has six language services, including the three languages that have been on Alaska's KNLS since 1983. Our goal technically is to only shut the transmitter on and off once a day. Because if we do it more than once a day, ah, it shortens okay. the tube life greatly. Mm -hmm. And one tube in our new transmitters is around $50,000. <laughs> Our broadcasting makes use of what we call the magazine format. What we mean by that is that just as you thumb through a magazine and you read one article and then another and another, so also an hour of our programming contains segments of core Bible teaching, but also popular music and discussion of topics of general interest to get people interested enough to listen. Kellyanne Monahan is here to report on what's trending on social media. Kellyanne, what's up with Facebook? Lucy, Facebook has a new feature called Reactions. This joins its seven-year-old like button on the popular social network. The thumbs up like button will continue to look the same. We know the message is being received from the stories and letters we get from listeners. Everyone's talking about Cuba these days. Well, during the past year, we've started a new initiative. We're training Cuban young people, women and men, to write and to record messages that speak to the hearts of our listeners. There's great things that are happening with those that are tuning in to our radio program in Cuba. One of our young people in Cuba was sitting across the table from me. Her name is Danielis. Tears came up in her eyes and she said, I don't know if I should really share this with you or not because I don't want to make you too proud. I said, what, what are you talking about? She said, well, 
Your program, La Voz Alegre. You know, I've been going to church for 10 years, uh, and I've never been able to get my dad to come to church. And one day, I was frustrated with him, and he wouldn't listen to reason. So he listened to La Voz Alegre, the Happy Voice radio program. And then he began to have questions. And those questions led to Bible study. And that Bible study led to his conversion. How many more listeners are out there listening today whose stories will be similar to that of Danielise and her father's? Shortly before Madagascar World Voice began, I received an email from a Chinese gentleman in Kazakhstan. He had become a Christian in Nashville in 2015, baptized by our own Edward Ho. But with his Doctor of Philosophy degree, he accepted employment in Kazakhstan. This is what he wrote. I listen to your broadcast every day. Your program is from God. Thank you for the time you spend preparing these programs. The content of each one is a message from God, and they make me want to study God's Word in earnest. Listener letters are an excellent way to find out who's tuning in and what they think of our shows. We receive requests for Bibles and other materials, as well as QSL cards, so they can document that they heard your new life station. Here's a letter from Australia. My first QSL was from KNLS about 15 years ago, so the station does hold a special place with me and was glad to find you still on shortwave after coming back to shortwave listening. At approximately 1040 UTC, I heard a song by the Backstreet Boys and then a talk on verbal and emotional abuse with June Hunt from Hope for the Heart. I also heard profiles in Christian music, Jesus is Coming, and talk about internet usage. This letter came from Sweden. Radio Over the Borders opens new horizons. I know that a lot of other stations stream their programs on the internet, but that is certainly not the same as catching the signal on the air. On the personal side, I live with my family, wife, and two teenagers in the greater Malmö area in southern Sweden. God has answered the prayers of thousands of you who have prayed for this ministry. Madagascar World Voice is now on the air. This means a strong signal now covers about twice the land area that was covered by KNLS, our Alaska facility. We now have the ability to cover much of what's known as the 1040 region, that area of the world between 10 degrees south latitude and 40 degrees north. It's an area that badly needs to hear the gospel message of faith, hope, and love a message that can bring light to people who daily face the circumstantial darkness of the here and now, poverty, disease, war, and terrorism, and the spiritual darkness of life without a Savior. We have the ability to reach everyone with a standard shortwave receiver. The world has three billion shortwave receivers. One billion are turned on at any given time, and each receiver has an average of three people listening. We can introduce the gospel to an astonishing number of people who know very little or nothing about Jesus Christ. Madagascar World Voice was on track for completion until the coup d'etat of 2009. After seven years of dealing with two regime changes, the dream of a second radio station to send a strong signal to another huge part of the world came true in 2016. World Christian Broadcasting founder Maurice Hall came up with the idea of using shortwave radio when he gathered radio equipment for President Roosevelt to communicate with Washington during the Yalta Conference of World War II. Since then, the ministry has faced more than a few obstacles. In the formative years, founder Lowell Perry lost his life in 1977 while he was in a plane to search for a suitable transmitter site. But thanks to your prayers and your support, many of the founders' goals have been met through three decades of broadcasting on KNLS in Alaska. This year, another dream came true with the first broadcast from Madagascar World Voice. We need your continued support to give meaning to the many sacrifices that have been made to put and keep both stations beaming the music and news of our time 
and most importantly, the message of all time. Give thanks to the Lord, call on His name, make known among the nations what He has done.